What's up guys? Um, some of you seen my video of how I crashed this into the um, into the beach. So basically I was flying around the beach and one of the sand particles got into the engine, uh, into this uh, front left engine. And the engine basically stopped rotating and it hit the beach and pretty much I got sand in, in most of those uh, motors. But this one is the one that I can't even move it left to right. So, I want to show you how to take apart the engine. This one didn't uh, uh, didn't get damaged. This one, <coughs> excuse me. This one has some sand in it, but this one is pretty much the worst uh, case. So you see, there's some sand even on the screws, and some sand got into the uh, bearing basically. So the th first thing you need to do is uh, remove the. Uh, video transmitter antenna because it's kind of sticking out and you don't want to damage it too much. So, and that's the Yashin 250, but it's ex exactly the same procedure for any other drone out there. If you just want to open up the engine and clean it a bit, um, and maybe some use some lubricating oil to 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 make it work better. So there are basically four screws that hold the engine down. All right. Okay, and some of you should be able to see it. There is a pin. There is a pin right there that uh, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. More. There is a pin right there that holds the shaft down. So maybe it's a good idea to disconnect this pin while while the engine is uh, mounted to the frame. By the way, we need to cut the zip ties here because uh, they are kind of in a way. Okay, zip ties cut. So yeah, a good lesson is not to fly near the sand, near the beach. Uh, so now what I need to do, I need to find something flat, something like that. Now the thing is, I'm no expert at taking the engines apart, but hopefully it's all as easy as it should be. Okay. Let's see if I could just, if I could just, mm. all right, we need something tiny, something like this. All right. I don't want to break it because I don't have the spare parts here. And I'm not sure what even, how this pin is even called. Locking pin or something. Okay. So. Yeah, and I'm trying to take it apart while it's on the frame, thinking it might be easier for me to to do it because I don't have to stabilize the motor while. while I'm taking the spin off, but it seems like I will have to take it apart. I mean, I have nothing against taking it apart, but I would rather just leave it as is. Okay. Come on. Come on. Nope. Nope. Okay, so let me finish taking out the motor. All right, let's blow some air out of it.
some of you would comment not to use power tools, but it gets my job a lot easier here. And maybe I should have taken the prop off, but it doesn't really make any difference. So let's see if I could do something like this. Is taking apart the engine required? Probably not. But I might as well do it. I know there is a special tool that you can just slide in there and just spread it out. And I know I have it. It looks like pliers. Like that. And you just spread it out. But the time it takes for me to find it, it's easier to just buy a new drone. Needle nose pliers, I believe it's called. So let me see if I have anything else I could use here. So how about two of those? All right, so let's do it. You know what? How about if I just gonna pull one of those guys upwards, and another guy gonna be sitting in place. Again, don't want to break anything because this Chinese stuff is really fragile. Already bent this guy. Okay. Okay. Alright, so will you come off or not? Come on. Come on. Okay, so I was able to basically move it upwards. Upwards to the side. So now when we take it apart, we basically just have to pull the top and the bottom like that. All right, so this bearing goes on, on top right here, little part. All right, so let's blow some air. Having a compressed air will probably help you a ton, but it's in my other garage, so in the garage I don't have a camera. Okay. Sure, how many PSIs that is, but should work. All right. Now I think there is some oil on it to make it rotate better. Let's see. Like that. I 
I can see some particles on the on the inner bearing so Okay, let's see if it's gonna rotate. Once we're gonna put it back on. So shaft shaft is cleaned. Let's see. Yep. It's all nice. So let's put the finishing washer right here. And let's install the clip. I want to straighten it out a bit. Okay. Making it as straight as possible. All right. Let's glide it on top of it. Right. Okay, so let's try it the same way as I put it on before. Okay, so if you are here. Right, so pain in the butt, honestly. If only I would have like bigger fingers, it would be much easier for me to do this kind of thing. Let's see, maybe we can use one of those guys. Okay, so
I don't want to be stabbing myself. Okay. Somebody knows on how to do it better, let me know, because this is just not acceptable. Okay. Finally. Let me close this down here. Alright. Alright, so now I have the engine back, back to work. Okay. So we need to mount it back to the to the frame. see so now both of those are spinning just fine this one has some loose connection right here because the ESC is not mounted properly, but China. I mean, I'm not sure if I would be able to do a better job for a 140 bucks that this drone cost. Okay, I just I don't want it to hit the prop when I'm flying. Okay, so this one is fine. This one is fine. Okay, let's see what, what we get in the back. This one, fine. This one is fine. So, the frame already sustained some damage here, so I just put a couple of uh, zip ties to hold it together. And uh, and the problem, the problem is the camera no longer works for some reason after the last crash. But that's a different story. So, 